In true Tesla fashion, the Musk-led EV company has shocked the entire industry once more with a chip that's nothing like what we've seen before in the market. You might be wondering, why is Musk's new chip such a game changer, and how did the company come out with a brand new chip in the middle of a semiconductor shortage? Also, why is Tesla suddenly partnering up with Samsung? Well, stay with us because we're going to tell you all about this and more. First up, Tesla has a new chip. Over the years, Tesla has followed only one principle, onwards and upwards, which is why it's not a surprise that they decided to upgrade their computer chip. Before heading into the new year, the company seems to be laying down a strong foundation, one that'll ensure 2023 is one to remember in the company's history. But what exactly do they have planned? Well, going forward, Tesla is going to be partnering with AMD, one of America's biggest semiconductor companies, for the AMD graphics chip. Tesla had already been employing AMD in the Model Y, and with this new change, it's going to be shelving the Intel computer chips. The company hopes that with this decision, the infotainment and internet browser in Tesla's cars will run smoother and better than before. In fact, Tesla started using the AMD RDNA 2-based Ryzen APU for Tesla Model 3 and Y back in December 2021. But for Model X and S, the company seems to be switching to AMD RDNA 2-based GPU with 10 teraflops of gaming power. A chip pretty much handles everything in your vehicle. That's including the normal operations of the media control unit, maps, vehicle rendering, autopilot screening, music, browser, camera displays, and other touchscreen functions. And so with these new chips, Tesla plans to take things to the next level. Moving on, Intel versus AMD. Of course, everyone has one question on their mind. Intel or AMD, which one is better? Well, Tesla influencer Bjorn Nyland from the Netherlands was kind enough to answer that question for us. He got his hands on two Model 3 cars. One was a 2019 model with the Intel Atom GPU, and the other was a 2022 model with the AMD Ryzen APU. When it came to navigation and video, the AMD Ryzen APU had a clear win. The browser boasted of a similarly improved performance. In fact, the newer model was far better except for a few things here and there. However, as the AMD performs better, it takes up more power compared to its predecessor. The extra consumption ended up reducing the driving range of the newer model, only slightly though. Tesla Scope shared information provided by one Model 3 buyer in Australia on Twitter. Apparently, new Model 3 buyers were asked to agree to a minor drop in range. Some believe this to be the reason for the new WLTP range rating. However, if we remember correctly, the new Model Y shows off a higher range. What's up with that? Well, the newer model comes with a bigger battery, switching out the 77kWh for an 88kWh and that could have made up for the range drop owing to the AMD chips. Now, how does AMD feel about the collaboration? AMD is certainly happy with the contract. Even before the collaboration was announced at the Computex Technology Conference in Taiwan, AMD CEO Lisa Su was singing high praise about Tesla's work. In one interview, Lisa pointed out how Tesla's work is truly cutting edge. Their goal of making in-dash computing as powerful as home computing is part of a larger trend of computing being everywhere. With the latest AMD chips, Tesla is actually promising its users an automobile computing system as powerful as a gaming console. Next, a GPU as powerful as the PS5. As hard as it is to believe, you'll be driving with Sony's PS5 thanks to the AMD chips. In fact, the company is using the same AMD tech that's powering gaming consoles and PCs all across the world. AMD's latest RDNA architecture has graced the likes of Microsoft's Xbox series and graphics cards like the Radeon RX 6000 series. With this tech, Tesla is directly on par with Nvidia. But what games can you play on your mobile gaming console? Well, that's a question that remains to be answered. However, one thing is for sure. With 10 teraflops of computing power on board, you're free to download any game you want. If you're a cyberpunk fan, then you can definitely celebrate because the CEO of Tesla himself confirmed that users can play Cyberpunk 2077 with ease on the car. That goes for Witcher 3 as well. 
Coming up, Tesla flares through chip shortage. Tesla has been pulling every trick from the book to get ahead of the ongoing chip shortage. Be it securing added suppliers or multiple chip options, the EV company was also forced to rely on its software focus when things got really bad. What did this do? Well, it helped Tesla fare on while other companies struggled to get on their feet. Musk was the one who revealed Tesla's new approach to the ongoing chip shortage during the company's Q2 earnings call. According to the tech icon, the team had to go back to the drawing board to rework its software to combat the ongoing crisis. How long did it take for them to come up with a new chip? Well, believe it or not, the geniuses at Tesla managed it well within a few weeks. Mind you, they had to rewrite the software and not just swap out a chip. Thanks to the timely solution, Tesla was able to deliver more than 200,000 vehicles in the second quarter, which ended up earning them $11.9 billion in revenue along with $1.1 billion in profit. What about Tesla's competitors, though? Well, Daimler and BMW were forced to halt production of some assembly lines owing to the lack of semiconductor chips. With a shutdown of even only a few assembly lines, the automobile companies are looking at a reduced output by tens of thousands of vehicles. Moving on, the company isn't out of the woods just yet. However, even though Tesla has a better footing, Musk doesn't think that the company is out of the woods just yet. According to the tech genius, the company is still dealing with the effects of a semiconductor shortage. The year's growth trajectory will depend on the availability of semiconductors which, in Musk's words, remain a serious situation. Keep in mind that Tesla vehicles don't use just one chip. A wide array of chips go into the making of a car. We're talking seat belts and airbags, and so if the shortage continues, it's going to affect Tesla's deliveries. Now, even though the shortage is entering its third year, Musk thinks it does seem like it's getting better, but it's still hard to predict. Of course, if Tesla is under fire in the face of a chip shortage, so is AMD, the company's partner for the project. Fortunately, AMD isn't sitting idly on its hands either and is instead working closely with manufacturing partner Taiwan Semiconductor to manage the chip shortage. Lisa Su, the AMD CEO, does believe that things will get better towards the second half of the year, so, you know, fingers crossed. Finally, Tesla plans to produce next-gen full self-driving chip with Samsung. Even with the latest tech in the bag, Tesla is not slowing down. No, not at all. Instead, the EV company is planning to take the next step with its chips. What's that step, you ask? Well, according to one report from Korea, Tesla is currently working with Samsung Electronics to produce its next-gen full self-driving chip. The company apparently has plans to integrate it with the Cybertruck whenever that launches. This chip falls directly in line with Tesla's plans to make all their future EVs capable of full self-driving. Previously, Tesla was planning to use the NVIDIA computer, but the company soon realized the computer failed to meet the requirements, and so it was forced to upgrade to the FSD computer. However, with fears of the computer reaching its limits, Tesla has now understandably decided to come up with a new chip. This deal is actually in the late stages of negotiation. They're calling the new chip the HW 4.0 self-driving chip. Samsung apparently has plans to use the 7 nanometer technology at its Hwasung factory to manufacture the chip. Anyways guys, what do you think of Tesla's new chip? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the most interesting Elon Musk news.